Hey, this is Matty Turpin, Mix and Master My Song.com. One of my favorite plugin companies is Sound Toys, and they make some of the coolest stuff, and I use it on every single song. So I thought it'd be cool if I just kind of, you know, went over some of the different ones I use and for what instruments um, when I'm mixing hip hop records. So the first one and the, the main one is the Decapitator. This thing is amazing. And what it does is it, it sets different kinds of distortion um, and drive and warmth on different tracks. And it has, you know, a bunch of different, it styles different like preamps. So it has the Ampex one, which is A. This is the Chandler EMI TG channel, which is an awesome mic pre. This is a Neve 1057. Uh, this is the thermo Thermoculture Culture Vulture. Um, and that's in trioid mode. And then this is the same thing except in pentoid mode, if I believe, if I remember correctly. And um, these are great. Fred has some nice harmonic distortion. I use this one probably a little more than this one. but uh, And then for kicks, I like to use the Ampex and the Chandler and sometimes the Neve. The Neve's pretty good on guitars and stuff. Um, it's got a little too much fuzz for me for when I use it on drums, but it, it sounds great. So here's a kick, um, and we'll just go through it, and I'll kind of play with it. So here's a kick by itself. And then we throw this on. And you hear it, it's the same level because the cool thing is is the drive is, is is how much kind of distortion it's going to get. Like if we turn this up, you hear it just farting more and more. But the cool thing is, is they have the audio output. So you're not hearing it get louder, which is like one thing you always got to make sure is you're not listening to things that they just sound louder. They sound better. I love it when they put these automatic <clears throat> um, output adjusters so that you're just hearing what you're actually doing and not just getting louder and sounding better. But so I use this a lot on kicks and snares. See how much bigger and thicker that sounds? And, and you might think it sounds like a little too distorted, but when you're putting it in a mix, it's really going to help cut through the whole song. The other thing you can do too is change the tone. So if we want it to cut a little more, get a little brighter. If we want a little more thump, you can go darker. I mean, it's pretty simple. And then it's got a high cut and a low cut. The thump will boost the low cut. Uh, I think right around the low cut frequency will boost it a few dB. And the steep just switches the high cut from 6 dB to like 30 dB. I think it's pretty like dramatic. But we won't really hear it here. So, <clears throat> and then you also have the mix here. So, you can just, that's dry. And that's with all the distortion. So, you can kind of blend it in if you just want a little bit just to give it that little extra punch. So it's, it's, it's subtle, but it makes a world of difference. It really does. And here's the snare drum. It's without it. It's with it. You hear the difference. So just those two things, like you might not hear much, but when you start blending them all together and you got a couple going on it, it really starts adding up. And that's what mixing is all about is just doing little things that make it better. So the decapitator is awesome. I use it on mostly drums all the time. And then here's a bass. I'll put one on the bass usually too. Especially sub basses. Because <clears throat> sub basses are great for the low end. But but a lot of people don't know is like when you want bass stuff to cut through, you kind of need some high end stuff. So with this one, if you use the thermoculture ones, it adds some sort of harmonics to it. You can hear it. Turn it up a little more on the drive than I would just so you can hear it. Hear the difference? 
And then on this one, I got the high cut cut down a little bit, the tone a little darker. So the Neve gives a little more grit. That's why I don't use it that much. This one's great though. These are both great. And then once again, once we add it with a kick, See the difference? So that's the decapitator. The, the, the thing's awesome. Works great on everything. I use it a lot. Um, the next thing we can check out is some stuff I'll use for like a Rhodes or really anything. I got something really cool here too, I'll show you. But uh, the first thing is this little micro shift. It's, they got a bigger one, I just haven't bought it. But um, I guess what it's emulating is the old Eventide or Eventide, depending on how you say it, uh, H3000. And then I think there's another model, but it's a stereo. It's, it gives it a stereo width. Um, and it, I mean, you can tell right away. Solo. Hear how bigger it gets? How much bigger? <laughs> So you can use that on a ton of stuff, on instruments, even if you just have a little bit on there. On vocals, it sounds great, especially hip hop vocals. It will, it will kind of widen them out a bit and it's awesome. And then you can also, they have this tremulator that's cool. On this, I might automate it, so just plays on that. Bring the depth down if you want less. So that's cool. There's tons of stuff, and, and a lot of stuff, like especially with these specialty ones, like they have the the uh, freak filter and a few others, um, the crystallizer, which I actually use in this one. You just gotta play with it and like come up with cool stuff, and then you'll end up like check this out here. So this is. Let me turn off this. This is the crystallizer, and this is just rainy delay. A lot of times with these crystallizers and stuff, I just go through the settings until I find something, and then I start tweaking it. But check it out. So I all made, I sent it, I busted out to this auxiliary, and then I all made the volume coming in and out on the crystallizer, and check out the sound it gives me. cool is that and then what i did is i add a reverb to it it's like a whole new song so you can use these you can use these effects to actually make more sounds for a track I, I delayed it too i thought it was a little much that's with the echo boy so with these the crystallizer and then they also have the um where my sound tool is the filter freak that's got a ton of different stuff and so you can just go through this stuff I mean, there's so much weird stuff, but you start filtering it. And then like I have this analog edge preset that I'll add to keyboards more. So it adds a bunch of grit to the real high end and then I blend it back in. It doesn't work so great with the roads, but with a, like a lead synth, it really helps to cut through the mix. All right, and the last thing um, is the Echo Boy. Let's go to this vocal. I didn't really have a good vocal to do this on, but this is the best I could get. So a lot of times we always add delays at the end of goes verses. On, uh. And life goes on, life goes on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Life goes So 
Echo Boy is great for that. I mean, you can also use Echo Boy for slap, um, delays, and all kinds of stuff, But which I'll show you. But here's just like some basic effects I use. There's the eighth note ping pong, which I'll, I'll, I'll low cut to the max and high cut to the life max. Life goes on, life goes on, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Life goes so you get the left right echo effect with life that. Life goes on, life goes on, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Life you can speed it up too. Life goes on, life goes on, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is cool. So I use that one a lot. Um, this is like this left right limit effect that I modified, I guess, with this one. Life goes on, life goes on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Life. It's just a real fast. Life goes on, life goes on, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know if it works for that or not, but. Um, this is my, I'll go to the Echoplex. This one's great. This is the stutter delay. Life made. goes on, life goes on, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Life and the stutter delay, this is on the rhythm echo setting. This thing's awesome because you can do all kinds of stuff with it. Goes on, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you can also swell it. Goes on, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Reverse it. Goes on, yeah. yeah, yeah. Goes on, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Goes on, yeah. yeah, yeah. Go goes on, yeah. yeah, yeah. See all the stuff you can goes do. Goes on, yeah. yeah. Goes on, yeah. yeah. So it's really cool. There's so much stuff. And you can add repeat. Goes on, yeah. Goes on, yeah. Especially with the Goes on, yeah. Goes on. Goes on, yeah. Goes on. So there's tons of stuff. I use that one a lot. Um, the studded delay and then the space echo. Goes on, yeah. It's like the old Roland um, space echo. And then this echo plex I use. Let me do this. Let me just turn it on. Exoplex I actually use uh, for hip hop vocals to make them sound a little wider. Here and I know it, so we can take this break. Here and I know it, so we can take this break. I'm straight, I'll be all right, and I know you're doing okay, cause life goes on, life goes on. Uh, here and here and I know it, so we can take this break. I'm straight, I'll be all right, and I know you're doing okay, cause life goes on. Here and I know it, so we can take this break. I'm so I'll add this just to add some depth. Here and I know it, so we can take this break. I'm straight, I'll be all right, and I know you're doing okay, cause life goes on, life goes on. Uh, here and I know it, so we can take this. And then you can also use. Here and I know it, so we can take this break. I'm straight, I'll be all right, and I know you're doing okay, cause life goes on, life goes on. Here and I know it. Just to give it a double sound. Here and I know it, so we can take this break. I'm straight, I'll be all right, and I know you're doing okay, cause life goes on, life goes. Here and I know it, so we can take this break. I'm straight, I'll be all right, and I know you're doing okay, cause life goes. So there's so much cool stuff you can do, and that's that's that. I think um, you could also try. You could put that micro pitch on the vocal as well. Here and I know it, so we can take this break. I'm straight, I'll be all right, and I know you're doing okay, cause life goes on, life goes on. Here and I know it, so we can take this break. I'm straight, I'll be all right, and I know you're doing okay, cause life goes on, life goes on. Uh, here and I know it, so we can take this break. I'm straight, I'll be all right, and I know you're doing okay, cause life goes on. So it's just like little small stuff that makes the mix sound way bigger over time. So anyway, that's just you know me going over some of my favorite plugins by Sound Toys. Um, make sure you buy the stuff. You know what I mean? Like these guys work real hard to make this stuff, and then. You can get the good stuff, and they have, I think, five coming out soon. This is 4.4 or whatever. But anyway, if you got any questions, please hit me up. And if you need uh, your songs mixed and mastered, hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. Thanks.